You are now entering the Divine Headquarters. What's up fam, it's your big bro Joey. Welcome back to the channel. Much love and light to everybody out there. I hope that you guys are having an awesome day. I want to thank y'all, all, all my um, OGs for your continued love and support. I want to thank y'all for hanging in here with me, being open to, open to the messages. I really do appreciate you guys. And uh, thanks for giving me your positive feedback. So just positive energy in general. And letting me know that these messages are getting to the right uh, people who they're meant to get to. Okay. Um, if you are new to this channel and you like to be a part of the family, you're liking how we are vibing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you to be a part of the fam as well. And comment down and uh, welcome. Uh, let me know that you're new to the channel. Uh, okay. So I can give you a welcome shout out. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and get started in this message here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I took this message from this the um what do you call it the subject for this reading is what's going on around you okay uh that was um a suggestion that was made put uh that was um put in the so, quote unquote suggestion uh post okay thank you for suggesting that okay swift karma suggested that and somebody else might have suggested but i I've, i i recall swift karma but i thank everybody for making your suggestions okay um the angel number that I channel for this reading is 1013. Okay. That number is 1013. So with that number, it is an invitation to work on yourself and heal. Okay. It's an invitation to work on yourself and heal so that you can manifest positive relationships in your life. So this is all about you manifesting the right people. Like you not allowing um, your past relationships or are uh, uh, deep seated beliefs, limited beliefs and in past traumas to really affect, you know, your present and your future. OK, so this is um, your angels guiding you and helping you to heal from the past so that you can let that go and you can cultivate positive and healthy relationships and connections in your life. OK, um, I started us off with this. What's the tea deck? Hold up. Let me let me get it. Let me get it to show y'all. It's what's the tea deck. Okay, that's what I started off with. Okay. Okay. And the first card that came out on the what's the tea deck was cock blocking. <laughs> that was pretty interesting, right? There. I'm like, wow, here we go with this, bro. So I feel like you guys are. You guys have actually healed from the past or you are healing. You're actively doing it. You're doing the work. You are you are growing. Uh, you're experiencing personal growth. Number seven on the energy as well. We got Mars energy here, too. So I feel like a lot of you guys are ready to take action. A lot of you guys are ready to move on with this Venus energy, this love. You're ready to move forward. You're ready to leave the past behind. You've already left. A lot of you guys have already left the past behind, left it where it belongs, and you've healed from it, and you process all that baggage and that dead weight, and now you're ready to move forward, okay? And you're ready to, to manifest some soulmates. Number six energy here. Uh, you're ready to hobnob and, you know, um, I just heard for somebody cohabitate with people of your soul tribe, Okay. But we have somebody who is cock blocking here. This person may be cock blocking energetically or they could be cock blocking physically. I'm getting somebody may be being sneaky. I just looked at the word sneaky. Wow. This is somebody doing doing this behind your back. This person may be smiling in your face and then being another way behind your. Oh, wow. I just looked at the word energy. Aries energy. We, I, I'm, I'm looking at Gemini energy and, and Aries energy here. And those are the words that are sticking out to me right now energy this person may be energetically cock blocking on your situation pushing potential suitors away energetically especially suitors who are of because let me tell you something when they when they try to do spiritual um blockages and things like that uh spiritual interference they're more so uh, more so tapping into the people who you have who you were who you um have the potential to have um, spiritual connections with, right? These are the deep connections because the other people and you also are, um, uh, what do you call it? Sensitive. Um, you're sensitive to energies and vibrations. Um, these things can somewhat affect you as, at times. Okay. Um, affect you or even affect your person. Okay. 
Let's see what else we got from this deck. Tell us more about this. I want to find out more about this cock bucket because I feel like somebody needs to put up some sort of some sort of psychic protection. You need to cleanse your energy. Okay. Um, jackpot winning money. Yeah, this person wants it. This is somebody who's trying to. This is somebody who's clout. It says clout hungry here. So this is somebody who likes things to go their way. They'll say anything and do anything to make ish uh, to make things up. And they're just heavily dramatic people. OK, and these are people who I'm getting. If I can't have you, nobody can kind of vibe or even people who may be jealous of you is what I'm picking up for somebody. You may have somebody that's jealous of you. OK, and they and they know that you're slated because of because of who you are. Because of your elevation, because of your progress that you've been making in life, you may have some people that are around you that that know that you're slated. They see you with somebody uh, having this special connection, whether it's platonic or whether it's romantic. They see you attracting your soul tribe. They see you attracting love potentials and soulmates. And they don't want to, They don't want that for you for some reason. You have a jackpot and it's, and it's so funny that yesterday's reading, we pulled out windfall. Let me pull that car back out to remind you guys. And it's so funny that this car came out, which lets me know that's confirmation here. That's confirmation that we are on the right trail. Y'all know we don't stop like Scooby Doo. We don't stop until the mystery is solved. We don't stop until it's solved, until we get all the information. And let me pull out this, um, this alchemist dream deck and i want to find that card because we pulled out transmutation your transmuting energy okay we pulled out windfall you see what i'm talking about here you guys as a collective we are manifesting big things right now and there's a lot of people that know that they could sense it they could feel it because your vibrations is just that powerful i feel like some of you guys are walking around and you may not even realize it or you may not even be cognizant of the fact that your vibrations are telling a certain story. Your vibrations are sending a certain signal out. People could feel your vibrations. It is not saying, oh, my God, like I'm telling on myself I'm sabotaging. No, it's nothing to do with that. It's that. I'm getting your light. Can no longer be hidden. Like it's out in the open there on display. Like you, you are shining so bright. And the reason you're shining so bright is because you've done that inner work. Because you're putting yourself first. Because you're, you're spending time on your own personal development. You've gone through spiritual, spiritual awakenings. You're, you're separating yourself from people, places and things that do not serve your highest good. And it's 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 not only are you healing yourself internally, it is showing up externally. And that's why yesterday we pulled the card out that, you know, anti-aging, that is a byproduct of that. That is why you are here looking so good, though. You feel me? Comment down below if y'all ready to go. I know y'all resonate with me. Who out there resonate with me? I know you feeling me right now. That's why y'all looking so good is because you've been doing that inner work and it's um, <clears throat> Ooh, I almost got some throat shock and somebody don't want me to tell y'all that, but it's like, it's showing out externally. Comment down below RTG one, two, three. If you guys are ready to move forward, ready to go one, two, three, four, moving in progress. Yo, you guys are rocking and shining out here. And a lot of times when we, uh, are in that kind of momentum and when we're in that type of energy we will get opposition number two energy here right it's the flip side to this you're you're in this number two energy to where you're manifesting new people and it's also opposition showing up as well right the more you move into balance the more somebody wants to knock you out of that balance it's not to say oh my god let me be afraid of doing this inner work let me be afraid of, of of reaping the the benefits of my hard work that i've been putting into my own situation no it's not saying that it's just for allowing it's just for you to be aware that not everybody deserves a place in your in your life whether physically or whether energetically mm. 
this person knows you are slated to get some sort of jackpot and windfall. And for a lot of y'all here, part of that jackpot and windfall is a beautiful connection with a beautiful person who you are equally yoked with. And they know this because you have completed a cycle number 10, okay? And you are you are in this wholeness type of energy. Hmm. This may be <laughs> Y'all just heard the word straggler. This is a straggler, bro. This is somebody who's trying to hold on to you. This could be a fan of yours. This could be some sort of groupie because you see we got the car groupie. I'm not just pulling that out. My, You know, I'm not just making that up, right? Groupie. This is somebody who's holding on to you. This is somebody who's fangirling, fan, fanboying after you. You might not be into them like that. You feel me? That may not be your type, your, your, your cup of tea. But this person is like, this. whoever this person is, is like they're claiming their territory energetically. And saying this person is mine. That is so weird and so creepy, bro. Because what people don't realize is that we all operate off of free will. You cannot claim something that is not yours. You feel? And I'm talking about another person. That is like possession. You're trying to possess another person like, like as if you own them. That is the energy that I'm getting here. It's like somebody is like... I don't know, man. I'm getting some kind of... For somebody here, I'm getting some kind of weird energy like... Mm, delusional type of energy this is ne that neptune like they all in their imaginations they all in their dreams they're all in their delusions you know what i'm saying like their head is in the clouds they're not like they this person is not um they don't have a good grasp on reality right now when it comes to you as an individual this is somebody who's stuck in their ego and we got bankrupt i feel like this person is spiritually bankrupt okay this could be for some of you guys. This is somebody who is financially bankrupt. And it's funny that I put it right underneath. It, it, it came out right underneath the jackpot. And the jackpot here is about you winning money. You getting rich. You getting an inheritance. You getting unexpected money. And also that jackpot could be in different areas of your life. Like it could be with your job. It could be with your love life. It could be with your friendship. It could be with your, with your health, your spirituality, whatever. You feel me? It could. It, this windfall. I feel is not just in one specific area. It is in multiple areas. And there's somebody here who is seeing you. There's somebody here who is seeing you elevate. And and this is an individual who is having some sort of uh, bl blockages in their own life. They're having, they're on some sort of decline. They may not have enough money. You feel me? This person And this card, this this person, it's like, I'm getting, this person is an energy of lack, okay? This person feels like they don't have, so therefore they gotta, they have to, uh, how can I explain it? I see it. I feel it, right? It's like an individual feels like they don't, since they don't have, they have to, to take, Okay. They are coming from a position of lack, so they're not feeling like, hey, I can go out and manifest things for myself. I can, you know, everybody can have their own piece of the pie. I could, you know, if the, if this person doesn't like me, I could, there's somebody else out there for me. Da, da, da. You know, the list goes on and on. And it's like this person doesn't feel that way. They're acting out of state of lack. They're acting from a state of fear, almost, what I'm, I'm picking up with this person. So... This fear mentality that this person is acting from the state that they're acting out of is causing them to really be centered in their ego. It says her ego, ego getting in the way of relationships, etc. It's like this person that that is what's causing this person to cock block. This could have been for some of y'all. This is somebody that y'all rejected or y'all y'all friend zoned. OK, you don't. You might not like this person. This I feel like the uh, energy, similar energy came up in a different reading to where it's like some straggler was in the energy. I don't know. But this is somebody who, you know, you don't like this person like that. Like this may be like somebody who you friend zone. Right. Because we got the groupie energy here. This is this is this is somebody on the sidelines. This is somebody 
admiring you from afar, even, right? Fangirling, fanboying out for you. Wanting to be with you, longing to be with you. This is that kind of person that who will have your posters on the wall. You know what I'm saying? It's giving me that kind of like vibes. Like they got your posters on the wall. They 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 all they cannot do nothing. They they can't stop but help but talk about you to their friends and stuff like that. They have uh if you got your pictures posted online, they got your pictures saved and printed out and stuff like that. On their notebooks and hanging up in their cars, hanging up from their rear view mirror, they got your picture hanging up. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's giving me that kind of vibe, like a mofo got a shrine set up with your picture on it, you know, with your name and stuff like that. Like, it's giving me those kind of vibes. I know that's getting kind of creepy, but it's giving me those kind of vibes. Like, it's giving me like an unstable type of vibe. There's there's, there's a there's an energy of I'm getting an in, um um the energy of instability on this person. OK, and that's what's that's causing them to act out not within their normal self like they're not coming from a healthy place okay this obsession is what i'm picking up is not from a healthy place and i just funny that as i looked at the word uh obsession because this pluto energy is on the reading as well that obsession here this person could be aquarius okay they could feel like uh they have a vision in their mind about you. I feel like I see this person. There's somebody in your energy who's playing out fantasies in their mind. They they have, you know, the kind of people who have a relationship with a person. And that person don't even know them like that. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like one of them kind of vibes. We got number nine here. Okay. This for some of you guys, this is somebody who you no longer deal with with the number nine. You may have had some sort of enlightenment about this person. There there may have been some sort of closure that took place, some uh, cycle completed with you and this individual. This may have been somebody who you sought to help at one. For some of y'all, you, this may be somebody who you who you wanted to help, but you find out that you couldn't help them. Right. It just because it was too. I'm getting. Why am I picking up on weird energy? I'm picking up on this weird energy, bro. Like. And it's that kind of weird energy to where, like, let's say if you try to be somebody's friend. Yeah, look at this. I told y'all that Neptune energy is right here. The one with delusions. This person is, this person head is in the clouds when it comes to you. At this point, since there was some sort of closure, there may have been some sort of closure energetically, or there may have been some sort of closure physically, or it might have been both. I feel like this person is now oh, I just heard a figment of your imagination. This person is now uh, a part of your karmic past. All right. Phasing out of your energy. But this is somebody who does not want to not want to let go. This could be somebody that some of you guys are still friends with. You're still cordial with. You're still acquaintance or associated in some type of way with. But, you know, like you don't even see that person like that. You know, that person that is giving me that person who tries to holler at you tries to talk to you or try to be your friend and whatnot you like mm -mm, like ain't no way bro like mm -mm. you know there's like no no um uh no disrespect to the person but it's you know who's for you and who's not for you you know who you who you resonate with and who you don't resonate with you don't just hang out with everybody you don't just make friends with everybody you don't you don't just like start talking to everybody or wanting to date just anybody. You know what I mean? Like there's only, there has to be something there. And I feel like there's not that, that something is not there, right? Something did not click. This person may also not even be of your soul tribe, may not be a soul mate, may not be of your community. You don't really see eye to eye with this person, but this is some person that who really, this person idolizes you though. They idolize you. I feel this person idolizes your creativity, okay? There's something that you do or there's a way that you are, okay? There's some sort of energy that you put out, some sort of product that you put out, or just your personality, okay? The way that you talk, the way that you walk, the way that you show up, the way that you express yourself. There's something about you that this person is really infatuated by. They're enamored by it. They really admire you, okay? 
This may even be somebody that steals your ideas. They copy off of you because they they admire you. You ooh, it's like giving me like single white female kind of. Y'all know that movie, single white female, where the lady came into her house while well, she put an ad in for a roommate. Um, did 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 the, did the ad say single white female? I think it did. <laughs> that was weird. Did it say single? <laughs> Y'all comment down below. And let me know. That was kind of weird, bro. Cause why is why the movie called Single White Female? I can't really remember it, but um, <laughs> I just thought about that. I just thought about that. That was kind of strange, but um, um, this is somebody who, for some of you guys, it's like this person wants to, in a weird way, might even want to be you. This is weird, bro. It's like they want to steal your. This person, this person is in some sort of lack. This person might be having trouble paying their bills. They might be getting cut off notices, eviction notices. There's something going on with this person's money, whoever this is. There's something going on with their stability in their life. They're not stable. This person might not make a lot, enough money on their job, but they may work a job that that's very low paying. OK, that they can't really support themselves off of but this is an individual who they really they low-key want to be like you is what i'm kidding i'm kidding you know and i'm not trying to be funny they low-key want to be like you mm. this person low-key wants to be you it says copies your work duplicate you feeds off of you see what i'm talking about it's like if they don't want to be you they want to it's like they want your i just heard want your story they want your energy they want to siphon off your energy they may have wanted to get close to you so that they could benefit off of your light off of your energy and a lot of times when i use the term oh stealing your resources your resources is also your energy that's what psychic vampires come in and try to siphon off of you, try to siphon your energy. And this is somebody who may have been around you and you may have cut this person off because you found out about them. You had some sort of uh, revelation about this person and it's like you found out about it and you might have cut them off and let them go because this person was low key for somebody here. This person was low key manifesting off of your energy. It's one thing to have your own energy and you you're able to manifest off of right. You your energy is clear and you it's very very focused and it's very very potent right. You were in the energy of zero where uh, that's a realm of potential. Like you're in that void energy uh, where you've closed out cycles and you're and you have this fresh clean slate. And you're ready to go back into that one to that new beginning and keep going down the line. And you're and where in the and that's the period where uh, the possibilities for you are limitless. OK, I feel like that's where a lot of you guys are. The, you're 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 rebuilding. I feel like a lot of you guys are in that Phoenix stage to where you are closing out major cycles and you are emerging a new being. Right. Uh, somebody who's stronger, somebody who's gotten through a trial and tribulations. You've got it. You've gone through the fire and you've uh, come out of it stronger and more resilient and more. You know, I'm, I'm hearing more proud, more proud of yourself. If you if you're not proud of yourself, you should be proud of yourself from, from getting through a lot of uh, life's uh, obstacles and, and, and ups and downs in, in, in life. But I feel like this person. They see you very, very strong and it's like they know that you they know that even if you don't recognize it, a lot of times we, we may find ourselves in situations where. We don't realize that we're sitting on a gold mine. We don't realize that we got the Midas touch. We don't realize that that um, the seasons have changed for us. And we may be moving into a season of abundance, a season of harvesting. And we may still think that we are in the past season of destruction, tower moments, uh, things breaking down, a period of loss and whatever. Uh, a downward cycle and subconsciously we may be still in that cycle and not really able to 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 uh mentally 
excuse me, move into that new cycle. But there are people who are around us who are very, very, just like you are psychically in tune, right? There are other people who are too. But they may want to you. They may use that that, that those gifts for the wrong thing. So it's like this person. They knew. They know. They see. You know what I'm saying? So many people may may even, may even be seeing where you're heading or what your true potential is, even if you don't recognize your true potential. A lot of times they see that. Just think about it, right? A lot of times, a lot of us we may have been attacked as children picked on or whatever as kids because people saw that in you they they see that before you even see it. they know that before you even know it they know that there's something special and something different or something unique that is about you you have this strong creative energy about you and i feel like um even if you've suffered um uh what do you call it even if you suffered some sort of disaster or some sort of you know loss or something like that some sort of setback okay um, some sort of downfall, even if you, you, um, suffer something like that, you know that you're going to go through the phase, you're going to go through a phase to where you're going to, you know, accept, you know, go through the emotions. You may do a little crying, disappointment, da, 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 and then you're going to go through the process where you're healing and then they come back stronger than you were before. Right. It really doesn't get you down because you embody this number. You, you, you also embody the number 12 as well, which is in alignment with growth and optimism and uh, creative self-expression and inspiration and exploration. OK, and determination. All right. And ambition and having courage and everything. Right. So I, I feel like anytime you guys fall, you get back up and you get back up stronger than you were before. And it's like people people i some people like if they don't have that internally within them if they don't have that strength they idolize it in other people like you inspire them like i i i, I know i told you guys before that you're going to be inspiring a lot of people right and 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 uh, the majority of the people you inspire is going to get that inspiration and say, yes, if they did it, I can do it too. And not try to take it from you or not try to latch onto you and leech off of you or drain you of your power to manifest off of, you know, but you have those stragglers. Okay. <laughs> As I called them earlier, you do have those stragglers who do try to do that. It's like, instead of, instead of getting it on their own, they're going to try to take it from you. You know, I mean, that seems like the more easier option is what I'm seeing right here. That's why this person is is cock blocking. They're blocking you. They're trying to block your love life because they want to have your love life. They're trying to block your money because they want to have your money or your potential in all those areas. All right. This may be somebody who's also. Uh, Look at this. We got, we got we got hustling on the bottom of the deck. We're going we're going to process it in a second. This may be also somebody who is contacting you or even watching you from fake accounts. You might have even blocked this person already on, on the, one of their old accounts. I have people coming at me on with, on this tip all the time and even people texting me from random numbers and and talking to me like they know me. And it's like, who is this? And when the, the moment you say it's like, they, it's like they want you to just start talking. Right. The moment you say, who is this? They get quiet and get ghosts because now they know that you on to them. You feel me? You're not falling for whatever it is that they're trying to set up. I feel like this person. Yeah, this person is is, is creating fake accounts. And, and, and there's a reason why I brought up uh, why I brought up that. that um, what do you call it? The text messages, because you guys, you guys may just comment down below if you've received like a strange text message from somebody like an unknown number. And they were just talking to you like they've known you for all your life. And you're like, who the hell is this? Paging me at 546 in the morning, crack of dawn and now I'm yawning. You know what I'm saying? Like, who is paging me? Who is <laughs> paging me? No, I got no damn pager. But who is contacting me? Who's who's texting me at, the, at this time in the, in the morning, in the night, whatever? Like, who are you? And then that person is um, elusive. They're mysterious. They don't really uh, tell you who they are. And it makes you wonder, like, who was that? Why did they why did they why did they text me? Why did they why did they ask me that? Because the one that texted me asked me, they mentioned somebody's name that I know. And they asked. <sighs> They asked what I was doing. How was I? How was I? 
how was I doing? Did I make friends and all this stuff? Like, I'm like, who is this? Who is this? And they got ghost. You got to be. <sighs> Pay attention to, 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 to weird happenings like that. It's just fake social media accounts to spy. OK, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. So this person may be you may have blocked this person or you might not have blocked this person, but they're watching you on the fake account. I feel like, <laughs> you know what I just got? I just got there watching you on the fake account to um, to cover their to <laughs> I just had to cover their ass, you know, because it's like if they if they're looking through your photos, looking through your post. And if they make a mistake and hit that like button, you feel me? They make a mistake and, and double tap by accident. Now, you know, this person is watching you or this person saw you. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I feel like this person is smart in that kind of, <laughs> I'm going to give it to them. I think they're kind of smart in that arena because uh, they know, like, they, they don't want to slip up. So this person, this is somebody who's being careful. Wow. I got like all the signs. Let me see what signs I got. I got um, ooh, I got a lot of signs here. Like, damn, might as well pull the rest of them. I got Sagittarius. I got a um a Taurus. I got a Pisces. I got a Capricorn. We got Aries. I said Aries too. We got Gemini. I said Aries and Gemini earlier too. Did I say anybody else? No, I, I specifically said Aries, Aries and Gemini's, and they both came out. <laughs> Come on with the confirmation. Cancer and Libra. Okay. Those are the signs that we're getting here. Mm. And it says hustling. Making it rain, focus on money, getting it. I feel like they may see they may see you as a hustler, even if you don't feel that you're a hustler. But they feel like that you will always have access to abundance. You will always have access to prosperity. You will always have access to. I just heard someone something. Do you want somebody to love you? Like you will always have access to love. People that love you. People that support you. Okay. And you see what I'm talking about? Look. This is somebody you moved on from this confirmation that came through here. Comment down below if y'all ready to go. Y'all already going. Y'all moving on. Come on, RTG123, baby. Yeah, y'all already moving on. Y'all said thank you, next. Thank you, next. Y'all moved on. Y'all already gone. I'm not checking for this person. This is somebody from your past six of cups. Yeah, you don't deal with this person no more. Whoever this person was. You don't deal with them. I feel like y'all probably thought y'all like this person is mad weird. Yeah, but this person is contacting you. This person has been contacting you with the page of wands. Yup. They've been sending you fake messages. Yeah, this person is this person wants to cause chaos and confusion in your life with this five of wands energy. This person is mad. For some of y'all, this person is mad and they're in competition with you. There's somebody who's in competition with you. And this person has been talking to you. They've been talking to you from a fake account for somebody here. For a lot of y'all here, you may not even realize it. And they're just right. That's so creepy, bro. That is so creepy. It's like that per. I, I, I'm just hearing. Y'all know this is what I got. I just got that person is so close to me. That's what I just heard. I just heard that person is so close to me, like online or. Ooh. It's giving me a little stalkerish kind of vibe. Like, I just heard, I don't know what that means, okay? I just heard that, but that person is so close to me. And I feel like if you, if you knew how close, and I'm not trying to scare anybody, but if you knew how close this person was to you, you probably would be creeped out. Is what I'm getting for somebody. If you knew how close this person was to you, you would be creeped out. It wouldn't sit. You, you, it wouldn't sit well with you. Yeah, this is somebody who hasn't stopped. You might have thought that they stopped in the background, but they, whatever they're doing, they're keeping it going. Okay. 
So be careful of of, of strangers. Talk. I'm not telling you to be uh, be paranoid to every person who talks to you online. <laughs> Look at this, bro. Look at this. It fell on the floor. Obsessive lover. So somebody. This is this is uh, this was. This is. This is some. This is a karmic for somebody here. Somebody who's possessive. Didn't I say possess? I said that earlier. Didn't I say unhealthy? I said that earlier. And it says dangerous, toxic. This person, I'm telling you, this person not dealing with a. I feel like their obsession with you is is. It's just gone. It's just taking a new level. You know what I mean? But I feel like this person, it's like there's some sort of block. Like they can't, they can't physically touch you. They can't physically reach you. There may be some sort of distance or this person knows not to cross that line. But all they could do is communicate with you with this mercury energy. For some of y'all, this person contacting you over the mercury retrograde. They posted a message to you. And I'm getting, I just heard, don't forget about energetically. So during their mercury retrograde, if somebody from your past who you cut off, you don't deal with, you, you're not trying to deal with them. If they pop into your mind that very well and they and they fit one of these signs, that very well may be that person. OK, look, we got moving underneath the deck. Look at that. If you move, somebody may be trying to find out where you've moved to. Somebody trying. Somebody wants to know what you're up to, what you're doing, who you're doing it with. Let me read these signs to you guys again. So you because you have to if. If, if, over that mercury retrograde right if this person popped into your mind or even now because that energy lasts you know it's not what it's not what happened with mercury retrogrades like people pop up from the past you know energetically spiritually or physically even for some people but yeah if that person popped into your mind that that was then taurus cancer capricorn uh sagittarius pisces libra aries Gemini. That's it. Yeah. Those are the those are the signs that they could have. But yeah, you may some of y'all may have moved because this person, you know, this person was dangerous or tight. That's only if you were in a relationship with this person, because I feel like this person is overly sensitive. They're over like they don't take rejection. Well, this person is this is somebody for somebody here. This is not going to be for everybody. I'm picking up somebody who's highly, not only are they possessive, they're very, very intense, like very dramatic and intense. Okay. And then we have that dramatic car here with the clout hungry. Yeah. Dramatic individual. This person is very, I'm getting a very, very intense energy to where you have to like, you cannot give this person any hope. You can't, um, and if you have the option, you get away from them. And if, even if you're online, you just stop communicating with them. You just you don't give them the time of day because this person is is overly sensitive. I'm getting I just saw sensitivity again. This person is highly sensitive. And, and for some of you, this person is very, very moody. You might have uh, picked up on some of those traits also, too, from this person. Somebody always getting sensitive over nothing. It could be. You, for some of y'all, I'm getting like this person was getting sensitive over stuff that didn't even involve them. Oh my God, look at this, y'all. Cyber bully. Some of y'all, this person has been cyber bullying you. It says you're being bullied online or there has, or has suffered from it. Yeah, this is definitely somebody who's watching you online. This is an online presence here. OK, an online presence. That's why I say, hey, ain't nothing for me to block you. You feel me? Block them, block them. <laughs> I'm just hearing block them energetically, spiritually, fit, block them physically. Hit that block button, hit that, hit that hide button or whatever you got to do. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. And this has happened to me num uh, numerous times to where. Um, I might have ended up blocking somebody because they, they were a troll, turned out to be a troll or something like that. And then that same person, and there's one person that really pops up periodically. I mean, 
the last time I heard from this person who was a stalker was like a year ago online. And then they pop uh, They waited a whole year and popped back up. And when they said something, when they were, when they sent a message to me, I automatically felt their energy. I automatically knew it was them. Hit block button. Hit the block button. Trust that energy, especially if you, if there's some random person that hits you up and you pick up that similar energy, a familiar energy, trust the vibrations. Cause I feel like a lot of y'all going to be able to tell, look at this, looking you up. I told y'all, I told y'all this person is looking you up, researching you, studying you, getting information or trying to get information for somebody, this person trying to find out where you live. They want to bridge that, especially if you have banished him. If the only way that they could see you or even remotely contact you or potentially contact you is online, they're trying to bridge the gap and see where you are physically. But that's not going to happen. I feel like whatever defenses you got up, whatever protection you got around you, it's working. Wow. A cyber bully what, coming from fake accounts. That's why, let me tell you something. When it comes to trolls, block their head, block them. This person might be carless. They might be wishing that you have some sort of repo or car issues or transportation issues. This person cannot reach you. See what I'm talking about? Carless, they cannot reach you. It's only on their only option to connect with you or reach you because they're being restricted. I see it. The Saturn energy is on this person heavily and they are being restricted. They cannot touch you physically. They can only try to reach you via communication. Online. Or spiritually or even by phone or something like that. It's verbally. They only could reach you verbally. They cannot reach you physically because they're being restricted. In some some reason, way, they're being restricted. What else we got from this deck? Oh, this, 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 what, what is this deck called? What's the T deck is off the chain, off the chizane today. Yeah, this is, this is the deck that I'm using right here. And y'all know I'm using the um, Light Sears Tarot. Oh, it says into you, good chemistry, great vibes, positive, marrying for money, fake smiles, always partying. This could be somebody who, this could, for some of y'all, this is somebody who married into money. For some of y'all, this is, this is very, very specific. It's not going to be for everybody. For some of y'all, this person got into an arranged marriage. But they really want you. Wow. But you don't want them. <laughs> you don't want them. You don't want this person. And or, or, if this person is with somebody, they're with them for clout. Or they're with them because they don't got no choice for somebody here too. And they're fake smiling in this connection. This person may be always partying so they could drown out their love and their obsession with you. Wow, bro. Yeah. Y'all better start looking up. Um, I don't, Start looking up things to cleanse your energies. Cleanse your energy on a regular basis. You feel me? Yeah, you can even just take your salt bath or put you some sea salt, you know, in the shower with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Pray. Pray, uh, pray before you go to sleep. Wow, I just heard that song. Look, yeah, you walked away from this person. You don't deal with this individual. Yeah, you dealing with you stop dealing with this individual, okay? Or you stop letting this person in your energy, whether this person was just a groupie. Well, they they still a groupie, even if you were in love with them at one point. You know, for some of you guys, all of you guys, this is not somebody you was you was intimate with or in a connection with. But for some of you guys, you were. You may have been in a connection with this person or this person just has a fatal attraction. Some of y'all, it was a because I, I, heard, I, heard I heard that song that Stevie Wonder song part. So no, 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 part time lover, like a part time lover. Some of y'all, this could have been like a brief 
thing. That's not going to be for everybody. It's going to be specific for somebody. <laughs> I just heard them calling you out, but not in a bad way. But like this may have been something brief that you, you know, just brush through right quick. And then you find like, it's not for me. You feel me? And this person is just hooked like this. Uh, what do you call that movie? What's that movie? Fatal Attraction. For some of y'all, this is somebody who has a crush on you, but you ain't feeling them. You don't like them like that. You don't see them like that. I'm hearing a nuisance. Somebody who's trying to force themselves onto you. Mm. I feel like this person was suffocating your energy. And when you walked away from this person or some of you, when you are going to walk away from this person, depending on where you are on the timeline, when you walk away from this person, your energy is going to lighten up. I'm hearing it's going to lighten up in ways that you've never felt that it could be like you. You, you may be feeling like, what is this heavy presence that's on me? Like, what is what is this? Like, who's pulling on my energy? Who is this person? What do they want from me? Once you walk away, walking away brings in balance in your life. Isn't that funny? Look at this. Walking away brings in balance and it allows you to move forward. Some of y'all, you were stuck and stagnant. Your life was stagnating or your life could be stagnating right now because this mofo is obsessing over you and pulling on your energy. Somebody here, you need to protect your energy and set strong spiritual boundaries. If you don't know how to do that, you might need to Google it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, once you get away from this person, um, break away I heard break the chains, break away from this energy. It's going to bring you some sort of success in your life, some sort of triumph. This is you uh, standing up. See what you're talking about? Setting boundaries. What is seven of wands? Setting, uh, set, bro, I can't even get it out. Seven of wands is setting strong boundaries, healthy boundaries for yourself. Yeah. Standing up for you, protecting yourself. And I get that. The emphasis is on spiritual protection, energetic protection. You see, she had this force field around her. And that is what you're, that is what you, a lot of you guys have erected for yourself or that, that's what a lot of you guys need to do. You need to, to, to implement that, right? Because once you do that, there's a brand new start here for you with the page of pentacles away from this weird energy. You know what? I want to pull this uh, features deck out. I want to like how this person look. What what can you and, and, and keep in mind, you guys, that I'm pulling energies from a lot of different people. So everything that I pull out of this deck is not going to apply to everybody. This is when we're using them. When we use this deck, you have to also use your intuition. All right. And your discernment as well. So we're going to see, give us, or oh, you know what I could do? Since there's so many people, how about I just split it into three piles? How about, how about we do that? Hmm. I'm going to try that. So y'all let me know if y'all like this technique. Let's, um, or maybe I should do three shuffles, right? Do one and then do the next one. How about we do that? Y'all want to do that? How about we do that? Let me let me get some of this up and we're going to do it like pick a card style because we have so many people, you know, who are uh, watching the reading. So it's like, let's get us. Uh, let's see what we got here. Let me move some of these out the way. Move all of them out the way. Do I hear sirens? Y'all heard that? Spirit say, pay attention. We on the right path. Pay attention. Somebody here needs to pay attention. Somebody needs to pay attention. We're going to do uh, three different. Yeah, let's do three different groups. Okay. Uh, the first group is going to be this white dye. The second one is going to be this pink one, whatever color that is. And then the last one is going to be green. So whichever one of these resonates with you, you could pause the video. If you're not watching this live, you could pause the video and 
uh, see which one of these resonates with you. And we're going, I'm a, I'm a, uh, we're going to pick three different ones and we're going to get, uh, three different sets of features. Okay. From this deck. All right. I'm going to pick like maybe like five cards or so for each one. Well, each round, we're going to pick like five cards and we're going to asking for the things that stand out the most. OK, something that's going to be uh, that red flag that's going to let you know. Yep, that's them. Yep, that's them. You know what I'm saying? Something that's going to be obvious that's ob obviously tell you who that person is feature wise. OK, let's go with the first one. If you chosen, if you chose this one, the white one, we're going to be seeing who who is this person? How can we recognize person from group number one? How can we recognize this person? What features will make them stand out and let us know exactly who they are? Ooh. For y'all, y'all person, y'all person plays sports or it may be sporty, athletic. This is somebody who is creative. They may be a painter. They may be a writer. They may be, may, may be into music. They may be into the arts or they may be um, into some sort of spoken poetry or something like they may write. OK, this is somebody who dresses trendy. They up on their fashions. They know how to dress. This may be somebody who is famous. OK, and there's somebody you know them by their jewelry. OK. For somebody here, this person may have some gray hair coming in okay and i'm gonna also say maybe not for every person right but they may have some gray hairs coming in hell they may have some gray hairs and you don't even know that they have but they may be fully gray or getting some gray hairs and this person has r b f rest in b face y'all know what that means rest in b face yeah you know what i said i was gonna do five but let's do some more let's do th let's do some more until i say until I feel comfortable. Yeah, this might be somebody who has a serious look on their face. They always look mad. But they might not be mad, but they just they just look mad, right? I, I, I've been accused of having that look. For some of you guys, this person has locks, okay? In their hair. This person may be... <sighs> this person may do some sort of therapy. This person may be online offering some sort of advice to people... For some of you guys, if this person is uh, somebody who's online or something like that are famous, they may be uh, they may work in uh, some sort of therapy field or offer some sort of advice to people, whether it is online, whether it's in their neighborhood or whether it's for a job or whatever. This person may be somebody who gives people some sort of therapy or advice. This could be any type of therapy. This could be um Mental therapy, emotional therapy, physical therapy, especially with sports. It could be something with that for somebody to physical therapy with sports. This is somebody who could be shy. They could come off as shy, even though they're uh, well known. I feel like this person is. Uh, there's something about this person that is that people find attractive. If it's not their looks, it is just their charisma, who they are. They got that. They have this certain energy about them. What's on the bottom? Nothing. Let me pull something from this one. This could have been somebody who wanted to come in and offer you some sort of resources or something or stability. They wanted to all uh, they wanted to they they wanted to offer you something, but you might not. You probably didn't want it. This person may be the year of the tiger and Chinese Zodiac. This person may have been a friend, an acquaintance or a co-worker. OK, we got a friend, acquaintance or co-worker. They may have been the year of the. Wow. Did all these came out? Yep. I'm going I'm to I'm pull them because that's how they showed up. This was similar to the reading yesterday. So let me tell you some y'all resonate with this. Watch the one from yesterday. Was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Snake. You're the snake. You're the tiger. You're the pig. You're the monkey. You're the dog. This person may be in their masculine energy. They may be a Capricorn. So we did pull Capricorn there. 
So this person may also be a Capricorn as well. Okay, so that is what we got for this first group. Okay, we're going to reset here and do it for group number two. All right, if you if you chose this this one right here, this pink one, uh, we're going to see uh, what features your person might have that rings a bell. We trying to ring my bell. We trying to ring that bell. What, what's going to set our set our spidey senses off about this person in group number two? How can we know who this person is in group number two? Oh, right out the gate. What's this? Somebody who's immature. <laughs> Somebody who's immature. Like, you don't take them seriously because it's like they're not to be taken seriously. They may be playing around all the time. They may not make no. <laughs> I just heard they may not be making any sense. This person may just be like, just. You may just think this person is just goofy for no reason. You don't take this person seriously at all, okay? You do not take them seriously. You think it's all a game, all a joke. They just playing around. It's something weird about this person for somebody here too is what I'm getting. This this is this is a person who might be Pisces, okay? I'm getting a water energy from this person. I'm getting highly sensitive in this person right here might be. They joke around and play around so much. If you snap back at them or try to put them in a place, they get sensitive. They want to start crying in a while. They want to play the victim. This person might have wavy hair. This person might have long hair. Okay, if it's especially if it's a female, she may have long hair, long wavy hair, or she puts waves in her hair even if it's straight she puts that's how she wears or that's that's how they wear their hair for somebody if your person is a dude he might just have wavy hair period somebody he might have a curly perm for somebody i don't know why i'm getting that well this is somebody who's well groomed they take care of their looks they they like to look good they like to smell good okay they take care of their appearance. There's somebody they be in the... <laughs> I just heard this person might be in the mirror a lot. This person loves laughing. I feel like that's why you don't... This person is immature and they're always laughing all the time. Or they're all probably always making... This is, this, is, this is somebody who says... Who makes little corny jokes. And you might be like... Oh, okay. <laughs> Bye. You know what I mean? Like, it's... It's giving me kind of like... I feel like this person makes you guys annoyed. Okay? Look, see what I'm talking about? Like that sensitive. We got moody. Yeah. This person is moody. This person is giving me kind of like Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde kind of vibes. Like they got split personalities or they just like their mood is all over the place. One minute they one way, the next minute they the next way. This may be somebody who is spiritual. Okay. Who's into spirituality. This person may have brown hair. For some of y'all, you a person wears contact lenses. Okay, for some of you guys, this person has a nice smile. Okay, and this person is heavily curious about you. And I feel like they made their curiosity known. I feel like this person makes their curiosity known to the point where it might annoy you. I don't know why I'm getting an annoying vibe from this person. You might, this is somebody who you just want to like leave you alone, right? It's, it's giving, leave me alone, leave me alone. Like it's like giving me one of them leave me alone type of vibes. Like go on about your, go on about your business. Like keep it moving. <laughs> y'all, we getting the drop on this person right here. Y'all comment, comment down below if y'all liking what we doing right here. We getting the drop. That's why I said we don't stop until the mystery is solved. Hang around with Scooby Doo. We don't we don't stop until the mystery is solved. This person is an admirer. Yup. This is somebody who admires you. Somebody who could be watching from afar or who approached you and you don't like them like that. I feel like I don't know. I feel like just something just is you don't like them. 
I don't know. I mean, do we even have to have a reason, really? I mean, if you're not vibing with a person, you're just not vibing with them. It could be a num number of reasons why you're not liking this person. You just don't like them. They could be the year of the tiger. Somebody here, this person could be a Gemini and a Cancer. Some of y'all, this person's favorite color is blue. <sighs> Look at this. A false flame. No wonder you didn't like this person. <laughs> I feel like you probably saw through this person. It says a family or a past connection. Yeah, this was a false flame. This person was here to teach you some sort of lesson. Might be for you to stand up for yourself and for you to not let this energy in your, in your life. They were trying to come in and nurture and support you. Wow. <sighs> trying to come in and nurture and support you. Uh, you're the tiger. Could be an admirer, false flame, a past connection. You don't deal with this person no more. Okay. Let's move on to the last one. Last but not least. And y'all let me know if some of these are resonating with you. Okay. I know they may, this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everybody, but let me know if this is resonating with y'all or who this is resonating to. If you selected the green, green, this is going to be your, I was gonna, this is going to be your read. This is going to be who your person is. Who is their person? For some of y'all, this person is in, in, into metaphysics. Okay. First card, cook. This is somebody who cooks. Okay, I give it to them. I give it to them. They know how to cook. <laughs> they know how to cook. You know what I'm saying? We got to give credit where credit is due. They know how to cook. I think that's a good trait to have, but <sighs> they know how to cook. This person might work in a restaurant. Not necessarily. They don't have to, but they know how to cook, though. This could be somebody that works in law. Or they have some dealings with law. This person could even for somebody, this person could be even be having legal trouble. This is another moody person here. Somebody whose mood is all over the place. They could be going through something difficult right now. For somebody, your person is going through something difficult right now. And it has to do with some legal, the law. Okay. Has something to do with some legal issues that they may be having. This is somebody who is traditional. Okay. We got tradition here. They like traditional roles or they come from a, a family unit or a culture that is very, very, and they, and they stick to the traditions of that family unit or they like to do, they like to follow the traditional, like societal traditional norms. Okay. For some people, this person might have black hair for somebody here. What else we got? And hell, for some of y'all, y'all person might look like somebody on these cards. You know what I'm saying? If that's the case, let me know in the comment section too. This person is very comes off youthful. They may look or act younger than their age. For some of y'all, y'all person, I saw this card. They, they may have locks, okay? Not necessarily true for everybody here. So we're not done shuffling. Ooh, yeah, this is somebody who's who who they're really uh, they're cloaking themselves spiritually or they're trying their best to cloak themselves spiritually. OK, this person is in the spirituality. They're cloaking They're This person is literally actively trying to cloak themselves. OK, from you so that you cannot pick up on them. This is somebody who wants it to be a secret for now. OK, they don't want you to know that it's. This is somebody who would be hella embarrassed. This specific person, they will be hella, hella embarrassed if they you if they know that you found out that it was them behind a certain fake profile contacting you. It was them uh, prank calling your phone or prank texting you or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like this is something that this person does not want. They does not want you to know at all. This is somebody who is of your soul tribe. Okay. Unfortunately, 
Somebody may work a white collar job. And drum roll, please. Somebody who wears glasses, okay? They wear glasses. Let's pull some from the who's who. Hold up. I don't think that's the name of this deck. <laughs> it's a clarifying card. It's who? Who is this person? Give us some more intel on this individual. Comment down below if any of these ring a bell to you. A Leo. Sagittarius. Leo and a Sagittarius. Fire sign. person is very very passionate i'm getting too this is a new connection this is somebody new okay somebody new this person could be the year of the ox this is somebody brand spanking new who's in your energy oh this person may be in aries and they may be a virgo Okay, so we got Leo, Aries, Virgo, Sagittarius, the year of the ox, and a new connection. Okay, so that's what we got for these. All right. Let's go ahead and pull up some advice. Let's get ready to wrap this up. Because I went on longer than I planned on going. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me... Give me one second. Yeah. I'm getting focus on building security in your life. Focus on things that 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 allow you to be grounded. I'm getting the number 4 here. Focus on things that allow you to be grounded or that keep you in that are stable, people, places, things. Take a realistic approach to your life and make sure that you're building because you 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 have a new start right here that you're embarking upon. So make sure that the foundation that you're building is very very sturdy and firm and solid. Solid as a rock. You feel me? Allow yourself to uh, move towards things that make you happy. Focus on things that make you happy. Focus on things that bring you joy. And that is where you're going to find a lot of success in your life. Why do I have these other cards mixed in with this deck and they don't go there? Jackpot. Yeah. You're going to be winning some money or getting rich. Okay. In some way. Some, I don't know. I'm getting. Because I just because I just heard in different areas. So it may be in different areas for different people. Okay. I don't know why I'm hearing somebody. You may have the opportunity to marry somebody who's wealthy. I did just hear that when I was going through these other cards too here as well. Let me move these cards out of this deck. What else we got here for the collective? I'm getting you on the way up. Don't let nothing that's out of alignment with you moving up. Yeah. See, this is this is telling you with the temperance energy here. This is you are having your life is healing. Walk away. Eight of cups. Walk away from anything that does not serve your highest good. Keep moving forward. Only. I'm getting only focus on and allow yourself to partake in things that make you happy. Uh that make you feel good, that uplift you, okay? And with people that are equally yoked with you, with the temperance energy here. You have this angelic presence that, around, that, are, that is around you, okay? And they're advising you to be confident as well and continue being yourself. And don't let any past connection that you have with anybody make you be something other than who you are, right? We don't want to allow these people in the past that we had tough times with to make us become hardened, okay? 
or a, 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 a negative a negative version of ourselves out of fear. We don't want them to, to, to have that power. Yes, we forgive, but we move forward and we don't allow those lessons that we went through in the past to stop us from being our living our best life. And I see you gaining more um, for somebody who are gaining more exposure. So something you're doing, you might be gaining more exposure in that area. OK, and it might be helping you. Remember, this windfall is coming for you. Eighty eight, 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 you know, a jackpot, jackpot again, winning money. OK. Money is coming to you or some sort of connection is coming to you. OK, that is going to be very, very beneficial and exciting for you. You could be uh, winning in the career area where you find a new job that pays more money or you get a higher position for some people. OK, this could be an abundance of friends coming into your life, your soul tribe, your soul mates. OK, OK, even if you were connected with some old ones and they didn't really, you know, they may have turned rogue. They're going to be phased out of your life and. New people will come in, new partnerships. Number two, new partnerships that are that are in balance or in tandem with you, right? They're not like on opposition. These are people that are equally yoked with you with this temperance energy, people you have common ground with, right? So I'm here and keep moving. Don't look back. Don't look back. And I did find out if you guys didn't know that song, I kept singing, don't look back. There was, that's a Miguel song by Miguel. Um, my coworker was listening to it today again. So I was like, oh, that's that song right there. Yeah. So keep moving forward. Don't look back. You might turn it to stone. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I heard that. I, Cause I got that Medusa reference. Like you might turn it to stone. That might, that, that, that might mean if you turn back and you, and you, um, get involved in this situation or fight with this person or even I don't know if it's if it's an ex lover get back with them it's gonna be your heart be becoming hardened and we don't want that right that's that's that, that's uh counterproductive to all the work that you've been doing here okay so this is what I got for you guys today if you like it like the video subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more and if this resonated for you please comment in the comment section down below let me know how you guys feel about it much love and light to everybody out there mahalo nui loa obrigado arigato ciao